Hello dudes and welcome to another video. I've been getting a lot of requests lately down in the comments section below asking me how do I make my outro? Now it's very simple and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own. Alright first things first you need a photo editor and a video editing software. They don't have to be too complex. I mean you can use Window Movie Maker I believe as long as you can overlay video over a photo. That's the only thing you need and then for a photo editing software anything you can add text and blur. That's pretty much it. So let's get started. I'm using a old photo from my good friend KMG. He made a hide and seek map a while back and we played it and this is what I used as a thumbnail. Anyways, I'm going to copy this photo and I'm going to add some stroke on it and you'll see why in just a second. I just put some white stroke just so it pops out. All right, now we're going to grab that and shrink it down. That way we know where our video will be. So now inside this stroke is where we're going to have our video on our outro. So the part so the part of the outro where it shows the previous video or next video or whatever video you want to show, uh, video of the week or something like that. Anyways, that's where it's going to be inside that stroke. If you guys don't want a border, you don't have to have one, but I I recommend having a stroke cuz it's a really good outline, but anyways, that's where it would be. Uh, I recommend using a photo by the way with high saturation. As you can see, there's a lot of colors and high saturation. We can go ahead and change the brightness if you want it a little bit brighter or if you want it more saturated. It's already really saturated, but I'm going to add a little bit more because I like it that way. See, that looks really nice. It's really saturated, really pops out. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to blur that background. Gaussian blur is the best. I recommend doing two, maybe one. I'm going to do two. I think two is good. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I want, whoops, wrong button. I want this a lot bigger. There we go. So it's really popping out in the middle. So it's really about the previous video. That's what my outro is about. I like showing the previous video, so I want it really big and just the background showing a little bit, but most of it is just the previous video. Next thing we want to do though is we're going to want to add some font. And now I'm just going to eyeball this one so you won't be able to tell. There. Perfect. And then we're going to copy that, bring this down, and say that we would like them to sub to subscribe or share the video or whatever you like to say. Maybe you have a quote you like to say at the end of the video or something like that. Like I can say, uh, for example, bye, because I like saying bye at the end of my video. Um, so we'll just stick that there. Actually, I, I like that. I might have to change that for my original outro, <laughs> but we're going to leave like that. It's good. I think that looks really nice. Maybe you guys don't have the same thing, but I hope you dudes enjoy my outro. Feel free to change it how you like. I'm not done though. I'm going to show you guys how to put it inside your video editing software and kind of set that up with a little bit of music. All right, we'll just call this outro for for video. All right, and we're going to save it as a JPEG because that's the easiest thing to do. And put it on a desktop for crying out loud. There we go. I am not going to save it because I just put it right here on the desktop. Fantastic. Now we're going to our video editing software and we're going to need a previous video or next video, whatever you use. Go grab that outro, smack it down. Mine is five seconds long, as you can see. I'll play it for you guys. See, it is five seconds long and we're going to want to overlay this previous video. Make sure we don't have audio in it except for our song of our choice. Feel free to choose your own song. I recommend no copyright sounds or maybe the free audio library for YouTube in the Creator Studios. Feel free to use that as well. Now I have a preset in here. I recommend making a preset if you don't have one for your outro. Mine is set to my outro, which is a little bit smaller. So we're going to have to change this and make sure it fits. There we go. Scoot it over this way. Down, put it down. I think that fits perfectly. Perfect. All right, then we play our outro and it will play our video and it says thanks for watching and bye. Anyways, guys, I hope you dudes enjoyed this outro tutorial video. If you want to see more tutorials or any other how-tos, feel free to recommend them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.